Advocates tell 13 News they fear there could be more victims after an IMPD probationary officer is charged with rape while on duty. That officer is now fired from the department, but the investigation into these allegations far from over. Marion County reporter Lauren Costick shares what advocates want and what other possible survivors, what they should know about this too. I was horrified. Kelly McBride, who works with domestic violence survivors, says that's how she felt after reading allegations that an IMPD officer raped a woman minutes after being assaulted by her boyfriend. This woman had experienced domestic violence, so trauma in her home, and then called law enforcement, who is supposed to be there to help her. The allegations stem from a January arrest. Court documents say Officer Myron Howard was there when the victim's boyfriend was arrested. The victim says Howard came back to her home and said she owed him before sexually assaulting her. A month later, the victim claims he returned, but this time she refused to let him in. She later reached out to attorney Mark Nicholson, who called her decision brave. If people don't come forward, then this reign of terror, this abuse, can continue to happen. During the investigation, detectives also learned of another incident. A woman said Howard demanded sex from her in exchange for a ride after she was involved in a crash. Howard has denied these allegations, claiming the sex was consensual. But in an interview, he admitted to having sex multiple times while on the job and that he has seen other officers, quote, have relationships with people. Now, advocates like McBride fear there are more victims. There are 100 percent more victims that haven't come forward. Reminding them there are resources to help. So there's so much that you don't have to suffer in silence. Last month, Howard was fired from IMPD after serving for a year. He previously worked in Anderson and Yorktown. And Chief Chris Bailey called these allegations deeply disappointing and concerning. Also, Indy FOP president calling them deeply troubling. Mm -hmm. Now we have more about these allegations and sound with that victim's attorney right now on WTHR.com. All right, Lauren, thank mm -hmm. you so much.